In this video, I'll be showing you how to fix Warzone 2 connection issues on a Windows 10 and 11 computer. So if you're trying to play Warzone 2, but you're having lagging problems, maybe your ping keeps spiking, or you're just getting disconnection error messages, then there are a few things that we can do to fix these issues. But before we get started, I just want to say, I will also pop a link in the description below to a guide that I will do, which I will add more methods to if I can think of any more, that I wasn't able to add to this video. So the first thing that you want to do is just simply shut down your computer. Completely turn it off and then just turn it off at the wall socket and leave it for a couple of seconds. So give it like 60 seconds and then turn your computer back on. So I know it sounds very simple, but this just can simply refresh Windows and hopefully might resolve the Warzone connection issue you were facing, if it was related to something that was pending to restart within Windows, or a service has gone wrong, or something like that. So if that didn't resolve the issue, the next thing that you need to do is click on the link that's in the description below to head on over to the Active Vision support page. So here we can click on Refresh, and we can just see what is currently going on with the Active Vision Warzone 2 servers. So as you can see at the moment, it says all platforms online. So that's good. That means that there's nothing wrong with the Warzone servers. If there is an error there, then that would explain why you're currently having Warzone 2 connection problems. Just ensure you have got Warzone 2 selected in the drop down menu under select game. So if you've got a green tick, we can now move on to the next thing. And that's to update Windows. And we can do this by right clicking on the start menu icon and then going to settings and then clicking on update and security. You now need to click on check for updates and if you do have any optional updates as well then download and install these also and if you do also have some driver updates available install those as well. So that now brings me on to the next thing that we need to do and that's to ensure that you have the latest driver installed for your network adapter. So we're going to now right click on the start menu icon and we're then going to go to Device Manager. You then need to expand Network Adapters. And you then need to right click on your Network Adapter. So you can see here that I've got a Realtek PCIe GBE Family Controller. I need to right click on this and go Update Driver. You then need to click on Search Automatically for Drivers. If Windows does detect a new driver for your Network Adapter, then allow Windows to install that. If it doesn't, then head on over to the manufacturer's website for your network adapter and see if there is a new driver available. If there is, then download and install that. So once you have updated your network adapter, I will also pop a link in the description below to a video that I've done on how you can do this if you do get stuck. We now need to ensure that our security is not the issue. So if you're using a third party security program, you will want to either disable it, put it into a passive mode or a game mode. Once you've done this, launch Warzone 2 and see if you have the same connection issues. If you don't, then you know you need to add Warzone 2 to the exception list within your security program. Also, just keep in mind while your security is disabled, you might not be protected from security threats. So to be able to add it to the exception list in your security program will depend on what security software you have. So you might need to pop onto Google if you're not sure on how you can do it and then just Google how to add the game to the exception list. If you're using Windows Defender Firewall, we can open up the start menu and we then need to type in Defender. You then need to click on Windows Defender Firewall. If it didn't pop up, then just type in Windows Defender Firewall. Next, we need to click on Allow an app or feature through the Windows Defender Firewall and we now need to click anywhere on the list. We now need to press C and you should then see Call of Duty HQ. You need to ensure this has a tick under public. If you don't see Call of Duty HQ, then you need to simply click on change settings. And you then need to click on allow another app. And you then need to browse for the Call of Duty Warzone2.exe. So it will be in the location where you installed the game. So if I right click on the shortcut on my desktop and go open file location, you then need to go into the retail folder and you then need to go down until you come across the cod.exe and this is the .exe that you need to add to the firewall. So once you've added that to the Windows Defender firewall or your third party security program, go ahead and press add and then make sure that it's got a tick under public. Now try out Warzone 2 again and see if that fixed the issue. 
If that didn't fix the problem, then the next thing to do is ensure that your VPN, if you're using a VPN service, is not the cause of the issue. So disable your VPN and then try the game again. If you're not using a VPN, then you could always try using a VPN service and see if that helps. I will pop an affiliate link in the description below to a VPN service, which you could give a go. And if you do decide to use that VPN service, then I will earn a little commission from that. So if you're not having an issue with the VPN service, then the next thing that you want to do is not to use a wireless connection. So if you are currently using a wireless connection, use a cable connection if possible. This will offer a more stable connection and also help with the speed, which will then result in reducing that lagging and also spiking issues you're having with your ping. So if you're able to, use a cable connection. If the issue isn't that you're using a wireless connection, then the next thing that we want to do is right click on the network adapter icon in the bottom right hand corner, and you then need to go troubleshoot problems. This is now just going to ensure that there are currently no issues with the network adapter. If it does identify a problem, then follow the troubleshooter in resolving that issue. So if that didn't help, then the next thing that we want to do is open up the start menu, and you now need to type in CMD. You now need to open up command prompt and you then need to type in the following, ipconfig space forward slash and then flush DNS. You then need to press enter. And once you've done that, now go ahead and try Warzone 2 again and see if that helped. If it didn't, then the next thing that we need to do is open up the battle.net app. Once you have the app open, you then need to select the games tab at the top and select Warzone 2. You then need to click on the settings cog and then go scan and repair. You then need to click on begin scan and this is just going to ensure that none of the game files have become either corrupted or missing. If the battle.net app does detect an issue, then it will attempt to repair the game file. So that now does bring me to the end of this video. I hope one of the methods in the video helped you out and you enjoyed the video. Like I said at the start, if none of the methods helped you out, then click on the link that I will add in the description below to a guide that we will do, which will hopefully have more methods on what you can do in resolving Warzone 2 connection issues. So if you liked the video, click the like button below. And if you want to see more Call of Duty Warzone 2 videos, then click on that subscribe button. We have also almost hit 60,000 subscribers. So if you do like the video and click on that subscribe button, we would be very thankful for that. So hopefully I will see you in the next video.